started with the sweet potato black bean enchilada casserole. Brand new recipe, never tried it before. Thought I would hop on live and do it with you guys. So to start with, I am using our Rock Croc Everyday Pan. I love this pan and the reason I'm using it today is this is a super fast recipe. Um, it goes in the microwave and so our Rock Crocs are microwave safe and it also goes under the broiler. So our Rock Crocs are also broiler safe. For those that don't know, our Rock Crocs actually can go anywhere. They're like one of the best products. So I need one uh, medium to large sweet potato that I peeled with our veggie peeler and I'm gonna be using our veggie strip maker right here just to grate the sweet potato right into the rock crop. So the veggie strip maker I use for making um, zucchini. Hey Amy! I use uh, the veggie strip maker for zucchini noodles. I grate carrots with it. Um, what I like about this, watch you guys, you can't cut your finger on it. Whoop. You can't cut your finger. So that is like super cool, right? I love that. But it's slicing through the sweet potato like it's nothing at all. So just give me a second to get this grated in here. Has anybody had black bean and sweet potato enchiladas before? I have not, so this will be a first for me. All right, let me just get a different angle on here. Hope you guys are doing good this Sunday afternoon. All right. So, the way I found this recipe, for those that don't know. Oh, you broke yours in half. Amy, you must be super strong. How did you do that? That's pretty funny. So, um... For those that don't know, if you go to my personal website and you go to the recipes and then you go to the search little section where that little magnifying glass is, if you put in some ingredients you have on hand or ingredients that you want to cook with, it'll search for recipes for you. Alright, I'm almost done with this sweet potato. There we go. Alright, I can see a few comments, but I'm way over here in my kitchen. And I can't read those from over there. <laughs> Amy says, don't ask. Never had it. Sounds yummy. Yes, it does sound yummy to me, too. Never have it e had it either. All right, so let me get this in there. Oh, that's a lot of sweet potato. All right, let me grate a little bit more. So you'll notice when you use something like sweet potato or uh, carrots especially, it will turn your veggie strip maker orange. And I just use the Clorox bleach cleanup, squirt it on there, or I have um, a squirt bottle with diluted bleach in it, and it'll take all that discoloring right off. All right, so we have that. The next I need is a set of small red onion. I've never in my life found a small red onion, so I'm just gonna cut um, a chunk of this red onion off and set it aside. And then I'm gonna use the manual food processor to process it. Hey Dora, how are you doing today? Alright, so let me just get all the skin off of this. Gonna use my manual food processor, one of my most frequently used products. Use my manual food processor probably nightly. Uh, who's that? Lisa! Hey Lisa, how are you? Y'all make sure to comment so that I know you're there. Also, you know what would be really helpful? is sharing. So if you would like to share, that would be great. All right, so now to use the manual food processor, for those that don't know, you hold it with your one hand and you with the other hand. And you just get it until you get it to the desired consistency. And let me take a peek. Oh, perfect. So let me show you how nice and small I got my red onion pieces. Go. I don't need that again. Look, can y'all see in there? Look, teeny tiny little pieces of red onion. Love that. All right, so I'm gonna add the red onion to the sweet potato. And already, this is a very colorful dish. The purple and the orange together really looks pretty. Stir it up. Do I add anything to this? Nope, I'm going to do it uncovered in my microwave for three to four minutes. 
So let me just head on over to my microwave. Let me show you what it looks like inside there. Just grated sweet potato and red onion. I'm gonna put it in here for three minutes. My microwave is pretty powerful, so I think three would be just plenty. All right, so the next thing I gotta do to get ready is some drained black beans. So I've just got a can of black beans. I'm going to use our Smooth Edge can opener. For those that have not seen the Smooth Edge can opener in action, you don't think about it. Don't try to line it up. You just put the can in front of you, butt it up to your can, twist, it'll attach. Hey Morgan, I am making sweet potato and black bean enchilada casserole. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this can of black beans and drain it into our uh, easy read colander. You do have to use the little birdie beaks on the side to get your lid up off. And then you're gonna notice that your lid is nice and smooth and your can is nice and smooth. So you cannot cut yourself, super safe. So I'm gonna grab the easy read colander right here and I'm just gonna drain this right into my sink. Uh, can you see? Let me go down. It's going to make a huge mess if I did it that way. Hey, Wendy, how are you doing? So as you can see, let me get my water here and rinse these out. I love this easy reed colander to drain things. What I also like about it is you can't really see, but it will sit on the edge of my sink. So I um, love that. I do have some beans left in my can, so I'm just going to rinse those out. Hey Paige, how are you doing today? So I'm gonna let my beans go ahead and rinse on the side of my sink. The next thing I need to do is open the can of red enchilada sauce. So again, I'm gonna use my Easy Read can opener to get that open. So I need one cup of enchilada sauce. So I'll probably have leftovers as this is a big can. I'm still doing online grocery shopping and when I order things, seriously, I don't pay attention to the sizes, I just order. So I get some weird sizes of things. So I need a cup, so I'm just gonna pour that in my, um, my, my uh, small batter bowl here until I have a cup. And I'm using the small batter bowl because I'm gonna show you. All right, so now with the Smooth Edge can opener, I can just put this lid back on and I can store that in the refrigerator and then use it again whenever I need it. So that's what I love about the Smooth Edge can opener. You can't do that with regular can openers. And also what I love about it is when you're getting things out of your can, you're not going to have your scrapers all scratched up on the side because there's no sharp edges to cut it up. So love the Smooth Edge can opener. And also you don't have any bacteria harboring on here. So that's my microwave done with the sweet potatoes, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this real fast. Since this recipe is all vegetables and there's not much protein in it, hey Tracy, uh, watch it all the way from South Africa. Pretty cool, hey. So since there's not um, any much protein in this recipe, um, according to the nutrition, the uh, recipe per serving, oh, it says it has 10 grams of protein. I'm pretty impressed with that considering it's all vegetables. Well, I'm going to add one scoop of our pea protein to boost it. So these are called enrichables and they are designed to enrich your dishes. So make your dishes more nutritious. So I'm just gonna add one scoop. They now come in this handy reusable um, pouch here. So I'm gonna add one little scoop of this pea protein. It's completely tasteless. The only thing in here, and it's a little tiny scoop, the only thing in there is uh, yellow peas. There's nothing else. There's no other ingredient, additives, fillers, nothing. So the one scoop is just gonna add three extra grams of protein, uh, but that is better than nothing. Let me grab my rock crock out of there. It's gonna be hot. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy oven mitts, my little handy dandy microwave grips, that's what they're called actually. Let me grab this. There we go. Okay, so the next step for this is, first of all, I'm gonna to whisk together, hey Stephanie, I'm gonna to whisk together the 
protein powder in with the enchilada sauce. Certainly you could add more if you wanted to. The recipe didn't call for it. I am just adding that extra. Okay. Okay, the next step I need to do is remove the cooked sweet potato and the onions and put it in my larger batter bowl right here. So we'll just quickly do that. For those just joining me, I'm making sweet potato and black bean enchilada casserole. So I thought this would be a great recipe to try out this Sunday afternoon. My son and daughter-in-law are coming for dinner and they're both vegan so and gluten-free. So this is a perfect recipe for them. All right. So now that I got all of that out, I'm going to add the black beans to this. What I like about this recipe so far, I've never made it before, but what I like about it so far is it's super easy. Just what I like, super easy recipes. All right, my black beans are finished draining in my Easy Read colander. I'm going to add those. And I need one teaspoon of cumin. So I'm just going to measure that out real fast. All right, and then I'm gonna stir this around. And then we're ready to start assembling this casserole. Seems like a super easy recipe to me. All right, so you need six, six inch corn tortillas. So I made sure that I bought the gluten-free corn tortillas. Oopsie, lost a, lost a black bean there. You know what, black beans are, you know, really, really good for you. They do have a lot of fiber and protein. All right, so we got that mixed together. I'm going to add one cup of the enchilada sauce to the bottom of my baker or my rock crock. Let me do this so that you guys can actually see maybe a little bit better. There you go. So I'm going to add one cup of that. I'll just guesstimate. There we go. And then I'm going to add three of our corn tortillas on the bottom. Paige, it does look easy, and this is the way I like to cook, easy. You know, I cook every single night for my family, and you know what, it doesn't have to be gourmet, but it wants, but you want it to taste good, right? So we're just gonna add three of these. They'll just overlap a little bit to the bottom. All right, and then I'm going to add half of this sweet potato and black bean and onion mixture. So we'll just sprinkle that on the top. There we go, a little bit more. That's probably about half. The cumin in there really does smell good. I'm thinking you could probably add garlic. The recipe didn't call for garlic, which is interesting, but I think you certainly could add the garlic. All right, so the next thing I need to do is, oh, um, Pour half of the sauce over the tortillas and half of the filling and half of the cheese. All right, so I can't obviously use cheese since my son and daughter-in-law are vegan, so I did buy um, vegan cheese. It's cheddar, chai, cheddar style cheese, but obviously if you're not vegan, you're just gonna wanna have four ounces of grated cheddar cheese. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this delicious vegan cheese over the top. It looks just like grated cheese. Let me have a little taste. I'll let you know what it tastes like. Never tasted it before. Tastes cheesy to me. <laughs> we'll see how it melts. I have no idea. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on top. Next, we're gonna add, add the filling, half of the cheese, repeat. All right, so I'm gonna add the rest of my enchilada sauce right over the top. Go. Let me scrape it all out. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the sweet potato mixture on top of that. So just like layering a lasagna, we're just doing layers. All right, put that on top of there. This is smelling good, looking good. It's all healthy and stuff. <laughs> all right, next we're gonna repeat with the three corn tortillas right over the top. I'll show you what it all looks like in just a second. And do I layer with the, do I layer with cheese? Yes, 
I layer with cheese. So more of our delicious vegan cheese on the top of this. I'm gonna put this into the microwave again. So let me go put that in the microwave. It says six to eight minutes. I'll put it in there for six minutes. All right. So it's not hot anymore. Let me come over here, pop it in my microwave. And let that cook for six minutes. And that's the entire recipe. Isn't that easy? Oh, my brother Craig says that cheese is good. Well, I'm glad I got a good one. Uh, Daya, for those that are vegan and want some cheese. It did taste like cheese, actually. So the next, what happens is this is gonna cook, oh wait, it said to cook covered. Oopsie, pampered, not perfect. All right, now it's covered. All right, so the recipe says that that's gonna cook for six minutes and then I'm gonna take it out and I'm just gonna put it under the broiler just to um, sort of make the cheese melty and a little bit bubbly. So I'll put it under the broiler. And that's what's really good about our Rock Rocks, that it can go from stove to microwave to oven to under the broiler to even out on the grill and in the dishwasher. So I love our Rock Rocks. And then it says um, to serve, if you would like to serve it, with some salsa, sour cream, Greek yogurt, diced avocados, and cilantro. So we're not gonna have it with the sour cream for obvious reasons, but I got some um, avocados that I'm going to dice up and some cilantro. So that sounds delicious to me. I can't wait to dive in. Um, once it's finished cooking and I've got it under the broiler, I'll come back to show you the finished product. A few moments later. I am back. So that was super fast dinner, was it not? I wanna show you the finished product, but, well, let me show you and then I'll add the cilantro. So look how good that vegan cheese melted. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. So I am going to use my herb mill. Hey, Stephanie. And another Stephanie, two Stephanies. I'm gonna use my herb milk to put a little bit of the cilantro on the top of this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plate me some. I've got some avocado that I already cut up for it. It looks delicious. So that's probably enough cilantro. I'm gonna just cut it like this. So for those just joining me, I made a sweet potato and black bean enchilada casserole. I've never made it before. It's a first time, but it sure looks good. Let me get my big scooper here. Let me scoop me out some. So uh, the rock crock cooked everything in the microwave and then I just finished up under the broiler. It's sweet potato, red onions, black beans, cumin, vegan cheese, and some corn tortillas. What do y'all think? It look good to you? It looks good to me. <laughs> uh, Susan, I am going to, um, in the comments, I will put the recipe, but I did find it on my website. Super easy. You can also serve this with uh, sour cream if you wish or salsa. I'm just going to try it just like this. I think it looks beautiful myself. This is, um, Super hot, hopefully I can get a bite of it without burning my, my face off. Mmm, it's absolutely delicious. Really, really good. I think that next time I will indeed add the garlic. Remember in my first video, I talked about how I think it would be good with some garlic. So I think definitely the next time I make this, and there will be a next time, I'm going to add the garlic. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.